I have already mentioned, uh, not in great detail, but I've mentioned the fact that any life was really born in the whole spirit of prayer. Um, and I can remember uh, times when we, we would be and uh, we would listen to that, that staff. I was just a kid, and I would, I would listen to them pray. And I realized, oh my goodness, this thing is, is really connected with something more than just an organization. And I, I know I've already encouraged you a little bit in this area, but if I were to pick out the one thing, my greatest wish for all of you in life, it would be that we be men and women of, of prayer, that we would walk in the presence of our Lord, <coughs> that we would learn to pray the scriptures, for instance. That, have, you, have you come across the discipline of Lectio Divina, which is that, praying the scripture? That's where you take just a little part of the, of, of the scripture. And, and you, you actually do pray it. I mentioned in, in the book how you do that. There's a chapter in there on Lectio Divina. And I would encourage you to uh, learn that discipline of how you pray the scriptures where you what word, what phrase, what is it that God is giving to you right now? And you just you just sit with it, pray with it. A study of, of scripture like that will last a lifetime. You'll remember things that were given to you. And uh, so in my I guess in my, is this my last talk? Oh, no, no.
burns without ceasing. Have you discovered the little Jesus prayer? That's prayer that is without ceasing. Maybe a hundred times a day I find myself praying this prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me a sinner. It's a very familiar prayer. And I would encourage you to, uh, to look into prayers like that. The breath prayers. Where you just, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me a sinner. You tie it into your breathing. And, uh, and this is the way that we can learn to pray without ceasing. Claudia and I wish to thank you for letting us come and, and be with you. It means so much to us to see how, how you have taken this mission and uh, continue to move it forward. Our, our main message to you is the minimum of prayer. Devote yourself to the Holy Scriptures. Memorize those scriptures. <laughs> Whatever it takes to continue to walk in the presence of Jesus. An old man named Moses said to a young man named Joshua, Instructions to Joshua. Moses was not allowed to, as you know, to go in to the promised land. And he says to this young man, Joshua, and the Lord, he it is that doth go before me. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee. Neither forsake thee. <laughs> Is that great? And Joshua, man, he cleaned up. <laughs> and he went on to say, Fear not. Fear not. Neither be thou dismayed. And that will be Claudia and I benediction to you. The Lord will go before you. He will be with you. He will not be. Be people of prayer. Be people of the book, Holy Scripture. <coughs> Spend time there. Memorize it. May the Word of God just live through you. <coughs> and always keep your sense of humor. <laughs> Don't ever take yourselves too seriously. We're in trouble. Seriously, the call of God upon our lives to reach kids who don't know Jesus, like I was. And a bunch of you. I kind of wondered in this last talk, <laughs> but I hope at least that. Whatever it is, Lord, I want you to remember from our times with you. That come right from Him, that you'll remember. That anything else, 
which comes from any other direction, please forget it. <laughs> Only what comes from the Lord. I'm done.